Ladies and gentlemen, when I predicted and have almost guaranteed you that we will see landfalling hurricanes around September 13th and October 15th, um, I, I was pretty sure about that. But when I started to pick the locations of where I think hurricanes will go this season, I'm unsure about that. But the first one I picked was South Texas, Southwest Texas, Mexico area. And so we're looking at an area of development, 30% chance in the next five days, 20% chance in the next 48 hours. And it's going in the exact place that I called. I believe I said it would, the first one would go here. And I think the second one would go here. And then the third one would probably go somewhere in here I think Florida is getting two and then uh, I think the wet spot will get one so this is gonna be a very deadly very dangerous hurricane season but we're not there yet although this could develop I don't think it's a mate I don't believe it's a major threat to the United States of America it could definitely develop though but I think right now most of the moisture an area up into, like I said, South Texas or the Mexico area. Um, but definitely, we need to be on high alert because the Gulf is hot like a bathtub. And that no matter what, this will be bringing lots of moisture up into the Gulf area. And that includes Texas. Um, one of the things... See, what is this? The first of the month, hurricane season starts tomorrow. And the, usually the beginning of the month, I do a fundraiser because anyone who talks to you about the sun driving our weather or volcanoes affecting our, our, our planet usually is under a lot of fire. So I now depend on your contributions and donations through snail mail to pay rent and all my bills so I can continue to bring you the important information that might save your life. So if you do want to support me, I need your support more than ever. You can send it to T. Lewison, 5430 Birdwood Road, number 416, Houston, Texas, 77096. And somehow, if I don't make it this month, um, I, I think I'd almost be relieved because, like I said, it's going to be a deadly, dangerous hurricane season, and I fear a lot of people are going to lose their lives. And so I, I don't want that to happen when I'm Planetary Defense Commander. You know what I'm saying? If that happens, I would much rather have it not be under my responsibility anyway so honestly i don't think by my projections i don't think we'll see the first my guess is i don't think we'll see the first hurricane until around the middle of august but the activity in the gulf of mexico and surrounding areas put it that i don't know man like we could see major tropical development in the next week like things are so odd right now and the thing is the Papacatepal volcano in Mexico long for almost five months straight almost every single day the volcano Papacatepal has been active so here it is the last 24 hours 85 exhalations which is like ash smoke one explosion and 305 minutes of tremor so you have got a volcano has been going off non-stop and the last time that like right about here is here I forget I think just going off non freaking stop dude and so it's like steam creates more rain more moisture and so it's you know I don't know we're, we're watching for volcanic activity we're watching for earthquake activity we're watching for tropical development um, and pretty much every thing up until this hurricane start hitting are like test runs. And so, uh, I don't know, today I'm, I'm kind of down because, you know, we've got dams breaking, levees breaking, almost, you know, we've had like, it happened in six or seven states over the last two months. And nobody seems to be either paying attention or wanting to work on solutions together to prepare for this stuff and so 
the brown, this is precipital water. Uh, a lot of it, like you can see, it's trying to start to rotate. Um, and so this will definitely add to the moisture that's been coming in from the North Pacific. So we're going to be getting moisture from two different sides. But that, I mean, that has a lot of wetness, a lot of moisture. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of flooding going on down in Mexico, Guatemala, surrounding areas. But it's just, it's a scary state right now, you know, and having to bring you guys the truth every day. It can be a bit of a downer. I wanted a vacation, but now I'm worried about, am I even going to get to pay my bills? Not that worried, though. I've been saved every month, and you guys are pretty awesome. I'm just down that we are doing so poorly compared to how we could be doing as a group. You know, I know it's like everybody fighting is all people know how to do anymore. So I'm just saying, I'm watching this thing. Right now, I don't see any major threats out of it. We're definitely on high alert this month. I mean, till October, November, really. So anything is possible. I will continue to watch this area for development. Like I said, models. If it does develop anything, it has it taking it right about here, which I predicted three months ago. But then when the when the shift starts to happen, like I said, it's going to start taking stuff over here more. But man, we just, I don't know, we got, we have, right now I would say it's, it's going to be a really dangerous, 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 deadly hurricane season. So it's a great time to prepare and, and make adjustments and just think with all the rivers flooding and all the dams breaking throughout here and all, like they're closing major highways. It's, it's just going to be nasty by the time the hurricanes do start to hit. And then remember, once they start, it's just like you're in the middle of a war. And then you will be in that hurricane war until uh, November, you know, or through October. So now is the time to get your plans together, your preparation, your escape routes, especially if you're along the coast. And that goes all the way up to the northeast, too, I think. I would put one hurricane, definitely North Carolina, Virginia area. There's a chance it could go higher. We could revisit another Hurricane Sandy situation. So pretty much if you were on any of these coasts, you were going to be on super high alert. Um, once the hurricanes start hitting, and then once they start, they're going to stop. And remember, I could be wrong. I mean, just because I keep getting a lot right doesn't mean I could make a major mistake. And so one of these things could develop and then knuckleball out. And that, like the last three or four, category four or five landfalling hurricanes, all developed from nothing to cat five, I think within 48 hours or 72 hours. So the very most warning you're usually going to get from the super pros who have to follow the guidelines is going to be three days. I do what I can to give you warnings as much as 10 days out, so... I'm going to do what I can to continue to be awesome, to try and work for everybody. I'm going to hope that I make it. But remember, I only survive and thrive through your support. And um, I love you guys. I appreciate it. Uh, hopefully, we'll get back to good times again sometime in the future. God bless everyone. Stay cool, and I will talk to you all soon.